All right, first grade, back for round two. Now we're going to work on making our family members' faces. Um, so if you notice, half of the head was in that first section that we folded. And actually, that's exactly where our eyes are going to go. So our eyes go in the middle of our head. And so our eyes are going to be five, if you could fit five eyes across your face. So I'm going to guess, and I'm going to guess about where... If I could fit five all the way across, so one, two, three, four, five, trying to make the sections the same size. Maybe I'll make my head a little bit bigger over here. So it works. So now between these two sections, I have to make my eyes. So I have to do football, baseball. Notice the baseball gets covered up, half of it, and then the pupil for the middle, baseball. And then the bottom of the football shape, you get kind of drawn in. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Now, don't worry if your eyes aren't exactly the same and aren't perfect. Nobody's perfect on both sides. Okay, so I have that. And then you can draw a little tear duct in the middle. Awesome. And don't forget, you have eyelids. So you need your eyelids on top. Eyelids go on top. Eyelid on top. And then don't forget, you need an eyebrow. Eyebrows are go above your eyes and protect your eyes from stuff falling in them. Going down, over, down, over and down. And if you want to draw eyelashes, I normally just draw it as like a little chunk. And a little chunk that goes over there. Alright. Okay, so that's my basic eye right now. And now for the nose. Your nose goes halfway between your eye and your chin. So your nose is super easy. It's just a hill, or a valley, a hill, and come down. And come down. So you might have thought that I made my nose a little bit wide. I can make it a little bit smaller, but this is the basic shape for all noses. So now your mouth goes halfway between your nose and your chin. You draw your mouth in a little bit of a smile. And then you draw the lips going on top. And then the bottom lip. All right. And so the last thing we're going to draw before we do our hair is our eyes. So I want you to know that your eyebrow or your eyes are where your ears start. So that's where they connect to your face. And they go up to your eyebrows. And they go down to the bottom of your nose. So they started here. They ended there. And they finished all the way down there. So I have to do that on the other side now. Don't be afraid, ears are pretty big so that you can hear. Okay, and the last thing that we're gonna do is some hair. So your hairline starts from the top of your head, the middle of your forehead, or the middle of your eyes, and we're gonna go about halfway between. And you're gonna draw some hair. You can draw hair in chunks. This hair likes to grow in, in sections like this. And go all the way back behind you hair likes to grow in sections. And hair sometimes goes in different directions. Okay. Um, I have a how-to video for each of you on different hairstyles. So that was my basic girl hairstyle. Basic bo boy hairstyles kind of come down in your face a little bit. Make jagged, wiggly edges. And they come down past your ear and back up. And then your hair kind of sticks off of your head a little bit. You can draw some more wiggly lines like that. But for more information on different hairstyles, let me know. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is curly hair. Curly hair, you can just kind of have it go in different directions and do different sections and they can go in different directions going this way. And again, remember hair grows in chunks and falls in chunks. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. But this is our basic how to draw a family member.